To celebrate World Children's Day 2024, the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, has collaborated with the Lagos State Ministry of Youth and Social Development to gather young people from selected Lagos schools to enhance their leadership potential, creative expression, and climate change awareness. Chief of UNICEF Field Office Southwest, Celine Lofotere, Wolfokraya uh, emphasized the fund's mission of advocating for children's rights and survival, highlighting their efforts to provide an enabling environment for children to thrive with access to good nutrition, water, sanitation, legal protection, and education. According to the Children's Climate Risk Index, Nigeria is one of the top three countries impacted by climate change, with over 100 million children uh, exposed to extreme weather patterns that disrupt access to water and education. Adenike Obinola, Obil, Obilano, representing the Lagos State Com Commissioner for Youth and Sport Development, described this year's celebration as an important symbol of world leaders' unity and commitment to protecting children's rights globally. Other invited guests, including UNICEF change champion Kate Henshaw, shared their thoughts on the event's theme and concerns about climate change. Ministry of Youth and Social Development, in its responsibility and alliance to the vision of the governor, will continue to be in forefront of ensuring a safe environment for children. We are committed to upholding the provisions of the Child Rights Law of Lagos State for the benefits of children. This year's anniversary is the 35th annual celebration of the Treaty for the Convention of Child Rights around the world with the theme, The Voice, Voices Today, empowering children and young people to lead climate action was carefully selected and well timed considering the issue of climate change around the world. World leaders, including the government of Nigeria, and in particular, the Lagos state governments are working assiduously to mitigate the effects of climate change in our environment. Child's rights are human rights, and they are non-negotiable. Upholding these rights is essential for creating a better world now and for the generations to come. Today we are celebrating World Children's Day. Um, it's a very important day. It's the most important day for UNICEF globally in the world. And it is important that we uh, focus this year on climate change and its impact on children. We do, in everything we do in UNICEF, work in support of governments. Um, we do that because we know no one can do everything alone. We do that with development partners, with government, but also with private sector partners, with young people and with children, as you've seen it today. So this endeavor is important. It's urgent that we take action. We take action for climate for every child because it's the right of every child to be able to live on a healthy planet and to be protected. I would not like to see is refuse around us. You know, um, we, we, we all have our part to play. We as individuals, making sure that our environment is clean, disposing of our waste responsibly, but also the government has their part to play in also disposing it in a careful and healthy way. I mean, you see that landfill site at Ojota, it doesn't need to be there. We're in the 21st century. I don't think I've traveled and I've seen any refuse that is piled so high. It's a danger to the people living around there. We need to encourage more recycling. Um, abroad in the UK, they have different dustbins. They have the one for grass, they have the one for newspapers, for plastic, and for home waste. We need to encourage each and every one of us. Maybe we go back to the environmental days where we have a day to clean the environment, but also encourage people by giving out prizes to the most clean neighborhood. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.